Welcome back to The Defiant. Today we're back with another partnership explainer video from Polkadot, where we'll be discussing everything Polkadot 2.0. While it was initially announced in June 2023, the Polkadot co-founder Gavin Wood began to paint a clearer picture of Polkadot 2.0 in December 2023. The move to Polkadot 2.0 will feature a series of changes as to how Polkadot allocates its resources, namely through system upgrades like asynchronous backing, agile core time, and elastic scaling. So let's start with an overview of what asynchronous backing is before moving on to agile core time and elastic scaling. In May, Polkadot's fellowship approved the implementation of asynchronous backing, which is the very first step towards a series of upgrades that will culminate in Polkadot 2.0. Asynchronous backing cuts the block time by 50%, reducing it from 12 seconds to about 6 seconds. It will also improve parablock execution time, allowing for roughly 4 times more data per parablock. After combining the 4x in execution time and 2x in parablock throughput thanks to a 50% latency cut, these improvements can increase the total throughput by 8 to 10x of where throughput used to be. This means the chain can process nearly 1000% more transactions per second. Our second system upgrade to discuss is Agile Core Time, which presents a flexible approach to core block space writes within Polkadot. With the implementation of Agile Core Time, developers will have the option of reserving core time in bulk, which can prevent fee spikes. Alternatively, developers can purchase small amounts of on-demand core time in order to reduce the barrier to entry. There is also an Agile Core Time Marketplace, which is a secondary marketplace for core time, which allows for optimized usage of the network amongst developers, and of course ensures that excess core time ownership doesn't have to go to waste. Finally, let's talk about Elastic Scaling. It primarily increases Polkadot's transaction capabilities by combining the power of Agile Core Time and activating extra cores. This is done by giving parachains the resources to utilize multiple cores. This distributes the necessary computational requirements and eliminates potential bottlenecks. The Elastic Scaling model can be useful to a variety of roles within the blockchain ecosystem, particularly entities such as service and node providers who can maximize their outreach thanks to multiple core utilization. The new scaling model will increase chain performance and reduce developer and dApp costs, which can be especially beneficial to new protocols and chains with lower volumes and revenues. So zooming out from these three system upgrades, we know that Polkadot 2.0 has already begun its rollout process. Asynchronous backing launched earlier this year, and Agile Core Time is being shipped as well. While there is currently no set date as to when the vision will be complete, the network will look to continue steadily implementing these upgrades over time. Future upgrades associated with Polkadot 2.0 will also include the Join Accumulate Machine, or JAM, and Accords, which are meant to improve relay chain capabilities and parachain interoperability. With that, thank you for tuning into today's explainer video, and as always, stay defiant. Thank <music> you.